Hello, welcome to the Thursday, September 9th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. First, a correction regarding yesterday's story about Proton Mail. I mixed up Proton Mail and Proton VPN. While uh, both of these products are part of the same company, different privacy issues uh, do apply to these different products. And the case of the French climate activist only applied to Proton Mail, not Proton VPN. For Proton Mail, uh, Proton Mail may be required uh, to log and release addresses if they are receiving a Swiss court order. Of course, Proton Mail being a Swiss company, Swiss law applies. However, uh, as they're stating here, this application does not extend to Proton VPN. So for this, they do not need to log or, of course, release any IP addresses of users. And for more details, of course, uh, refer uh, to ProtonMail's uh, privacy policy and the blog post that I linked to in yesterday's show notes. Well, and uh, Brad took a look at a Bazaar Loader and what it is up to uh, lately. And Brad took a look at the Bazaar Loader malware. It's recently using a threat of uh, stolen or copyrighted images in order to trick a victim on clicking on a link. And then you're being offered a file that apparently contains all the copyrighted images that you uploaded to various sites. So the victim will download this file. And of course, on opening the file, which claims to be a zip file, malicious code is executed and bizarre loader is installed. Other little interesting uh, tidbit about uh, this particular run is that the malicious spam that's being sent is apparently being sent via misconfigured contact forms on websites where you're able uh, to essentially send messages uh, to arbitrary users and uh, they're being used here to send the malicious emails. Of course, they typically do arrive then from an appropriate mail server. So all of your SPF and DKIM and other features like this, if they are set up, uh, are actually validating, which makes it less likely that uh, these emails are ending up in a spam bucket. And Thiotic did release a critical patch for its secret server. This, of course, a critical piece of an enterprise infrastructure. So something you certainly should pay attention to. In particular, in this case, according to the public announcement, the CVSS score is 9.9. Sadly, Thiotic didn't release anything else to the public, but apparently customers received an email with additional details regarding the vulnerability. So make sure that email didn't end up in your spam folder. Also, very odd uh, versioning here. Let's just abbreviate the versions and say it impacts secret server 10.9 to 11.0. The exact version, uh, just uh, look it up in uh, the announcement. And well, uh, your secrets are really a problem today. The next vulnerability is in Soho's Ad Self Service Plus. This is a product that large companies use for password reset and the like can manage multi-factor authentication, but sadly it is built around a REST API that apparently has an authentication bypass vulnerability that can lead to remote code execution. This vulnerability is already being exploited. Again, given the critical nature of this product, this is a must patch of vulnerability. And yes, a service pack with a patch has been released least. We also got an update for Android from uh, Google. Uh, nothing uh, super critical here. There is an interesting denial of service vulnerability that uh, may actually permanently disable an affected device. 
It's not clear if some form of factory reset or so may restore the device, but as usual with Android updates, do apply them as they become available for your device. And then apparently there's also a new list of about 500,000 Fortinet VPN login names and passwords. Uh, these were uh, stolen using the good old uh, vulnerability that has been abused in the past. Not sure if these are actually uh, new passwords because lists like this have already been published a couple of times. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.